Hello and welcome to House of Caravan. This is a cheap uh, indie horror game on Steam. I don't know exactly uh, how long it is or how scary it is. All I know is that it was tagged as horror, and it's been a little bit since we've done a horror game. So here we go. You know as much as I do. It's made in the Unity engine, although this one was made in the professional version because there was no Unity splash screen, so there's that. All right, use the arrow keys or WASD to move. C to crouch. Left mouse to interact with the environment, right mouse to use objects in the inventory. Sounds good. In we go. Press a key to start. Oh, there's an intro movie. Mom, I... Uh, huh? Mom, hello? Mom! Where am I? What is this place? What am I doing here? Oh, Lester. It seems bad luck is chasing you. First the news about moving to the Boston poorhouse, and now this. Wait, I, r I remember something. Hello there, child. Where are you going this fine evening? I'm just on my way back from school. Oh, really? I don't think so. No, wait! Let go! Where are you taking me? Buckle up, kid. We're in for a long ride through the woods. And then a walk. Even the horses didn't tread that far. Who was that man? Why did he bring me here? I, I don't know this place. I just want to be at home with Mom. I need to get out of here. Alright, so I'm a teenager that got kidnapped, apparently, and I have to find my way out of here so I can go home. Oh, okay, so there's going to be a lot of grabbing things, I guess. Well, maybe not. Looks like I can interact with pretty much everything. Okay, well, I might need this in the future. I'll drop that there. What do we have here? A book that I can't really... How do I read this? Do I just have to push against the wall? <laughs> it's the raven! Uh, yeah, it's, it's literally just the raven. Okay, well... No use reading that, I guess. Can I use it? No, I can just, like, throw it. Oh, there's a paper toy, though. Sorry, I accidentally knocked you off the uh, mantle there. What do we have here? There's just things everywhere. Things everywhere, and I don't know what to do with them. A matchbox. Okay. So, I guess that means that that was something actually useful. Uh, oh. Alright, so we're going to open all these drawers to find out what's inside. What was that? Was that the drawer opening and closing? No. So that was a different noise outside. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but something is outside and opening and closing doors. That's excellent. There's a lot of clothes in here. Why did he kidnap me and put me in here in this child's room? I'm obviously a teenager, not this young of a child to have these kinds of toys. Ooh, more blocks. Okay. Oh, that block just launched me. Uh, it turned into a four. That's not exactly what I wanted. All right, well, I guess it's a four no matter what. Are there any other blocks? A uh, ink bottle. Nothing I can do with it. Oh! I broke it. I broke it. I'm sorry. Did not mean to do that. Uh, okay, there's just random math problems, the alphabet. I guess it's all for this room. There's really not much else. Uh, I can open I can open the... Uh... Oh, there's a key. Oh, no. We got a bad grade. A key. All right, so now we can unlock this. I need something. Yeah, probably the key. There we go. All right. So there's no, like, inventory system you can scroll through. You just right-click to get to your inventory, uh, and it just selects the item you need, and then you left-click. That's what happens. The Madeline room. Why do I know that's the Madeline room? All right, well, the bathroom's open. Oh, it's a fancy bathroom, too. This is, this is real fancy. Can't see myself, so that's not fancy. Oh, there we go. Let's start that water. There we go. That's better. That feels more like home. Can we start this one too? Of course we can. Of course we can. All right. Oh, this is the uh, the toilet here. Can I grab some of? Oh, no. Can't grab any toilet paper. Guess I won't be needing that. Can I get in and close the door? Is there anything behind the door? No, nothing at all. Just checking. You never know. There could be something, absolutely anywhere. So. It's not exactly creepy yet. I mean, I'm just, like, exploring right now. and Maybe. I guess I can break this. Yeah. I can just break... I can grab pretty much anything. So that's kind of cool, at least. Uh, oh, I can turn this on with matches. I don't really care to light that right now, I gotta say. Uh, oh, a flashlight. flashlight. That's definitely useful. 
And, and it's kind of neat, actually, that the things that you can pick up and put in your inventory aren't very well distinguished. So you really have to be looking around and, and thinking about what you could use. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, there's a jar, some papers, nothing of use. Oh. Why? Why did you do that? Why did you open? Okay. <laughs> I guess that was a ghost of goo just opening that up and scaring us for a moment. No problem. Let's just keep... Let's explore the upstairs a little bit before we go downstairs. There were some stairs back there we could have taken. Uh-oh. What's rumbling? I don't know what that rumble is. It stopped me in my tracks, though. I couldn't move for a moment. Another bathroom? It's, uh... In the reverse here of the last bathroom. Alright, well... Obviously, we have to turn these faucets on. There we go. Yeah, that makes us more comfortable. More comfortable. Uh, give me the soap. It's handmade soap. There's sounds over there. I don't like it. Again, let's check behind the door. Nothing. Alright, well... That bathroom is useless. I'm just gonna break stuff. Uh, there's no sound to breaking that one for whatever reason. Yeah, I know. I need a key is what I need. I need something. I need something. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't have the key there. I, uh, there's a newspaper that goes straight through the wall. Uh, can I block this with something so I can read it? No, it's too dark. It's too dark to read the newspaper. God damn it. Okay, so we're gonna go downstairs. We're just gonna keep exploring. Can I run? I, it seems like shift makes me go slightly faster. <laughs> I wouldn't call this a run. As much as just a uh, slightly more brisk walk. Alright, downstairs. Uh, I don't assume we can just walk out the front door and leave. We need something. Of course not. Of course we can't. That would be too simple. Alright, well, let's find a door that's not locked. Here we go, another bathroom. This is the only room that we can get in, they're just bathrooms. Uh, bottles of stuff, there's a book. Nothing that's useful. Uh, that is a large roll of toilet paper. A document. Reduce your flesh. Why? Why would I want to reduce my flesh? In spots. No. That's a terrible idea. Don't do that. Uh, more documents. Here we go. Okay. I don't know what, what... What time period are we in here? It seems like it's it's back in time a little bit. Notice the patients residing at a distance. Residing? Is that what that says? Uh, I can't tell. I think that's what it says. Advice on all diseases. Okay. Don't care. Whatever. Is there anything of use in here? That's what I want to know. Anything at all? Anything that I can take with me on my travels? No. Well, this is a lot of exploring and a not a lot of figuring out what to do. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Oh, can I take anything in here? I could open this. I assumed it for a reason, but now I I assume that there was absolutely no reason. It was just to distract me. So that's good. All right, nothing I can do over there. Uh, I'm running out of... Oh, I can, I can just open this. That's good. I'll go in there in a moment. Here's a telephone. Let's call the police. No, nope, I guess it's dead. Can I unlock you? No. <laughs> okay. Well, calling the police didn't work. Uh, dinner room, though, so let's have some food. That would be good. A photograph. Okay. Well, apparently I was supposed to get that. It went into my inventory. I don't know what I'm going to use a, a photograph for exactly. Did I already open that? I don't remember. I don't remember what I've opened and what I haven't opened. I seem to leave things open instead of closing them all neat like so I know where I've been. Uh, more silverware. Uh, magnifying, a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. That could be useful. I don't know what for, but it could be. Place setting. Ah! Tells us how to place, set the table. I like it. Good. What's in here? Oh, this is a puzzle. C A L. Oh, I can use my magnifying glass. Okay, so C A L is circled here. I don't. Okay, let's go back. I don't know what I'm looking at that for. What is this? I need something. Ah, uh, I need the other. I need another photograph before I can I can do that puzzle. So we need to find one. And it's probably not in this room. <laughs> Actually, maybe it was. Did I find that photograph in this room? I don't remember. We can go into the kitchen and look for more here. 
surely somewhere. I don't want to waste any of my matches. I can see all right. Maybe I have the brightness up too high. I don't know. All right, where's the photograph? Oh, there's meat. I'll take that. Delicious. Uh, well, I've lost it. <laughs> uh, I think somebody was opening a door back there. Broccoli. Uh, there's just nothing to grab in here. Uh, there's a document. Do it yourself, butcher. Great. Oh, I can like, I can ring different rooms to tell them to come down for for dinner. Oh, I need a combination for that. I I don't know the combination for that. Wow. Okay. So there's a. Oh, that was loud. There's a lot of puzzles to figure out here. Oh boy. This is sort of creepy a little bit. Yeah, a little bit creepy. Okay, just meat hanging down there. That's excellent. I don't know what to do or where to go. I need to look for a photograph. And I need to find a combination. And I don't know. There's just so many things. So Dear many things. Mr. Caravan, as the personal doctor of the caravans for many years, I feel a responsibility to warn you of your family's mental health. A settled apathy, a gradual wasting away of the person has been my usual diagnosis for any of the caravans. As you know, the entire family lays in the direct line of descent, and has always had a very temporary variation. This deficiency, I am completely convinced, is a collateral issue on the family's health. The caravans have also been enchained by certain superstitious impressions in regards to the dwelling which they live. However, I am not telling you anything you do not already know about the family's life expectancy. Sincerely, Dr. Frank T. Kelly Okay, well that answers our question about the time period. It's 1909 and apparently the family has quite a problem with, uh, with medical issues. Uh, but uh, there's picture frames. Oh, no pictures I can actually take, though. That's too bad. Oh, can I pull them out of that broken glass? All right. Well, I'll continue looking for the items I need to finish some of these puzzles. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me next time as I continue through this giant mansion. You guys have a good one.